Topps dipped their toes into the unlicensed game last week when they released two sets. Topps Chrome Basketball and Topps Composite Football. And while all the fanfare and the luster might have been around the $1 million bounty on the Victor Wembenyama autographed Superfractor and, of course, LeBron James autos, the real winner last week was Topps Composite Football, which I can safely say is one of the greatest unlicensed sets ever made. Let's get into it. What's going on, YouTube? It is your boy, RGL, and I am back, and we are checking out Topps' other unlicensed set that they dropped last week. This is 2023 Topps Composite Football, a.k.a. Chronicles. For those familiar with Panini Chronicles, it is a compilation set. It is the best. And today we are checking out a $600 Breaker's Delight and a $400 uh, Hobby Box. Each of them have three autographs per, and there's been a lot of confusion as to why the increase in $200 for the same amount of autographs. And so we are going to open both. I'm going to show you what to expect in each box. But first, if you're new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. As always, appreciate a like on my content. This one's a little bit pricey to make, but I'm going to be honest. I am more bullish on this product right here than I am on Topps Chrome Basketball. And the reason why, I have no problem with unlicensed cards. They have to look good. And I think with Topps Chrome Basketball, about 10% of the cards look really good, and the others kind of, yeah, got need some work. Some design elements. You can watch my review on Topps Chrome Basketball. Topps Composite Football, man. These these cards look fantastic. Pretty much every set represented. Cosmic Chrome, Finest, Topps Chrome, Midnight, all the other sets of paper cards. They look so good. Topps did, did it right. They had a lot of time to work on this set. You can tell. This is the pinnacle. It doesn't get any better than this. And it is just a fantastic set from top to top to bottom. Uh, composite hobby with three autographs, and I believe 12 packs, eight cards first, so 96 cards. And then you dump out all the base cards, and you're only getting chromium cards in uh, the Breakers Delight, which is a 10 card box with three autographs and nothing but parallels. We will save that little uh, little number for later. This product is headlined by five major autographs in this set. Yes, you've got Anthony Richardson, who is in Panini Products. And then you've got three guys who are Fanatics exclusive signers who do not have any autographs in Panini. Will Levis, CJ Stroud, Bryce Young. Uh, Stroud and Young have had autographs in Leaf and Wildcard. So they have had unlicensed autographs previously. I have been very, very bullish on any CJ Stroud in a Leaf set in a Texans uniform. I own the one of one Super Prismatic. Uh, autograph from Leaf Metal, the product hit from Leaf Pro Set Metal last year, and about eight total autos. Hoping to pull another one today. A Super Fractor would be nice. I expect these cards will have significantly more value than the Leaf Strouds. We also have a little guy. You might have heard of him. His name is Tom Brady. He is represented in the set. But other than the four key rookies, and of course Tom Brady, everybody else in the set is a retired legend. So you're going to see autographs of like Steve Young, Troy Aikman, Joe Montana, Brett Favre, all the legends of the game, but you're not going to see any Patrick Mahomes. You're not going to see any Brock Purdy's or anybody like that. It is literally the four rookies and everybody else is a retired legend of the game. So 96 cards and wait till you see what these look like if you have not seen the set yet because this is what Topps Chrome Basketball should have looked like right there. It doesn't have logos and you can't really tell. It's just a beautiful card well designed i like everything about a lot of these sets that we're gonna see once again it is a compilation set so this is top's finest from 2023 design and it doesn't really take you back that there is no packers logo on that card of sterling sharp first rookie and that is gonna be anthony richardson right there um that is one of the newer sets i can't remember what they're calling that one again a compilation set many different sets i know that's one of the newer ones Tops Chrome Cosmic of Randy Moss. These are just fantastic looking cards. Uh, Tops Gallery, bringing back Gallery. Haven't seen Gallery Baseball in a couple years. That is Jay Novacek, and that is going to be numbered to 250. We have a James Harrison, and that's going to be a, I believe, Tops 1973 Chrome. We have another Gallery of Emmett Smith, and a paper, Tom Brady from the 2002 set. I want to say that's a 2002. Say? It does not say. I'm pretty sure that's a 2002. Brady has mostly Pat's uniform cards. 
And uh, man, I just, I think this set was done right. I wish we kind of would have gotten composite for our first two sets, composite basketball and composite football. We have rookie patch autographs and this patch pack does feel a little thick. So we might have something, no. Uh, but we do have rookie patch autographs in this one too. Uh, Jason Seahorn, there's gonna be Eddie George. Steve Young on the black. You cannot tell me that these cards do not look light years better than Topps Chrome because they absolutely do. Perfect. Perfect. Everything down to the last minute details. It's like two different parts of Topps' design team design these sets. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be And they design football right, and they design basketball, I don't know. Steve Young, Midnight, Emmett Smith, just a sharp looking card. Uh, we have Dan Hampton, 155 of 325. That is going to be on a blue finest. Bryce Young. I don't even know what this is. Uh, Bryce Young on the all etch. Great looking card, man. This is the winner right here. Uh, Ray Lewis and Bryce Young. Oh, my God. These cards, I cannot. I keep gushing over them. And the reason why is because they're so good. Now, price tag, $400, three autographs. We had another product released last week of Select Football with uh, two autographs and one memorabilia for $900. Of course, that set does have Anthony Richardson, Puka Nakua, and some of the other rookies and legends and active players. But, uh, and this one, this set, this set it was the winner last week. This was the best football set released last week. Michael Vick, Nolan Cromwell... Steve Young on the Topps Chrome Cosmic White. That is going to be... Is that white? Is that... That should be numbered, I thought. I, that's not a non-numbered parallel. I am shocked. That's a beautiful card right there. Can't believe that's not numbered. Adrian Peterson Refractor. Modern Artists of... Uh, is that Jerome Bettis? The bus. And another Bryce Young on the gallery. And a Bryce Young again. So you're getting a lot of repeats. It's a shorter checklist of players, but they have many different cards can't believe this Steve Young is not numbered. I still keep looking for the numbering on the Cosmic White. I expect that to be numbered to like 35 or something. But expensive rip today. And uh, once again, very, very bullish on this one. Phil Sims, uh, Sean Alexander, Midnight of Doug Williams. We have a Refractor of Terrell Davis. Checkerboard. X-Fractor die cut uh, to 74. <coughs> Sterling Sharp. We have not seen that ever in Finest Baseball. Ooh. These are not fun to, uh... Yeah, these are really not fun to sleeve up. There you go. Not bad. Uh, Sterling Sharp. We've never seen a die cut uh, like this in um, Finest before. Finest Baseball. And that is the 23 Finest Baseball design, by the way. Not the 24. Uh, Voltiac of uh, Chad Johnson. Another Bryce Young and a Sterling Shepard. So, as you can tell, like, I am highly enjoying this set. Been a big fan of unlicensed cards here on the channel, but the thing is, they have to be designed and they have to look good, and these look so good. MJD, Chad Johnson, Purple Auto, Tony Richardson, one of 199 on the Top Scrum Purple Speckle Auto, Joe Montana on the Refractor. Do you guys know that Topps' first Joe Montana rookie card from what, 81? I think it was 81 or 84, I can't remember. 81, I believe. It was unlicensed. Yeah, look, go, go look that one up. Frank Gore on the Grounded. We have Bo Jackson on the gallery. Don't need a logo on that one. And Bo Jackson, once again, this set just looks amazing. Been a big fan of unlicensed Panini Baseball and all the Leaf and Wildcard products. But I will say this set, I think, might be one of the greatest unlicensed sets we've ever seen. And we've seen a lot of really good ones with uh, Panini as well. But, man, there's just something about this set that feels special to me. I wish we would have had more active uh, NFL players. So that, I think, is a detractor. You know, I wish I would have liked to see some Mahomes and, you know, Brock Purdy and some of those players. But I can do with the four main rookies, the four main chasers. Would have been nice to have maybe Puka, too. Uh, Mushi Muhammad, Chris Johnson, uh, Charles Woodson, and another Tom Brady. But that's okay, because in a couple of years, uh, Tops will have the license. Ooh, this pack is very thick. Tops will have the license to do everything and in a couple of years we we've got something here we might have a rookie patch auto uh we have our first stroud but in a couple of years tops will have the license to do licensed football cards we will have logos and hopefully we will have composite in a couple of years because this set is awesome 
Uh, there's going to be Brian Westbrook on the Cosmic Chrome Refractor. Zach Thomas. Novacek. Uh, Jerry Rice. CJ Stroud once again on the finest. Rob Gronkowski. CJ Stroud on the Cosmic. I would sure love to see one more CJ Stroud. That's not Stroud. But that is going to be Dante Culpepper on the rookie patch, or on the patch auto. 19 of 99, little chunky boy on the resurgence, resurgence patch auto. Dante Culpepper. And it's on the purple team color as well. It's just a great looking card. Is it game used materials? That's the question. Uh, the relic contained on this card was worn by the featured player. The execution of all player war memorabilia is witnessed. So when he was doing his signing, they had him wear eight different jerseys, probably. That's what that means. So not game worn, unfortunately. I actually wouldn't expect that, you know. Now that Fanatics is getting back into the basketball game, getting back into the football game, might take him a few years to acquire game used jerseys and things like that. So, but it, but it, at the very least, it was player worn, which means they were they did wear it at some point. Whether that's, you know, during their career or, you know, at an autograph signing, I'm not sure. Uh, JJ, uh, JJ Watt on the uh, midnight. I forgot he retired. Orange, Steve Young, top spell black, 16 of 25. Another all etch chrome. That is Eddie George. Uh, that's Earl Campbell and Anthony Richardson. So you are seeing an abundance of Anthony Richardson, CJ Stroud, Bryce Young, and uh, Will Levis. They will show up a lot there on many of the different sets featured in this product. Kind of like Chronicles, you know, you open a box of Chronicles and you pull a lot of, you know, last year a lot of Purdy or like a lot of Paulo and Chet in uh, last year's Chronicles basketball. So it really depends on which ones you pull as terms of which ones hold their values. The Chromiums and the Numbers are going to hold their values. The base and the papers, probably not so much. Just like any standard Chronicles set. Bo Jackson. We have a Modern Artists that is going to be uh, Bo Jackson to 250. John Elway on the Resurgence. We have a uh, Peyton Manning, Anthony Richardson, and another Anthony Richardson. So, noticing a lot of duplicates. So, in the back, the base cards, you get like two Bo Jacksons, two Anthony Richardsons. And we still have one auto in this box as well. We're getting a ton of numbered stuff, ton of rookies. We still have Breaker's Delight to check out in this one. There's another Steve Young got Earl Campbell, uh, Troy Aikman. Midnight is going to be Darren Sproles. We have Drew Bledsoe to 199 on the black. So the blacks aren't actually a mat like they are with normal Top Scrum Black Baseball. It's kind of a chromium card. Uh, Resurgence Singletary, another Anthony Richardson, and Earl Campbell. So I probably wouldn't send in things like this Richardson for grading, but I would maybe send in like the refractors from Top Scrum or the Top Scrum Blacks. I probably wouldn't send in any of the paper rookies, to be honest. Just because those cards are going to be printed in mass. And like I said, they're the least desirable of all the rookies. Uh, Delaney Walker, Barry Sanders, but maybe a Resurgent or maybe a Chrome Cosmic I would. Final auto of the box is going to be a 25-25 Jason Taylor on the Resurgence Wave. Randy Moss on the Refractor. Rodney Hampton on the Grounded. We have Dan Marino and Rod Smith. Down to our last pack in this box. Uh, man, I'm really really enjoying myself i know we didn't hit a richardson a levis a stroud or a brady auto in that box but i mean comparing it to what else released last week select at 900 dollars to be able to rip a little over two of these boxes versus one select i think i'm going with these all day long uh stephen davis midnight jim kelly a little refractor of drew bledsoe who was hilarious at the tom brady roast earlier this year Chris Johnson on the Allen and Ginter. Made, made Allen and Ginter in the product. Uh, we have Delaney Walker. Yeah, Delaney Walker and Ray Lewis. So, the haul from Hobby. Our autos were Dante Culpepper, rookie, or a patch auto. Jason Taylor to 25. And Tony Richardson. So, no rookies. No, none of the big three rookies. Steve Young to 25. Uh, that was a Sterling Sharp to 74. And then, just a load of other numbered stuff and... Rookies, a couple of Strouds, not much Stroud, not much Brady in that box either. But for $400, like, that was a below average box. It's a really fun rip. All right, so I got a little dust in that first box, I'm not going to lie. This one's $200 more expensive. There's 86 less cards. And man, if, I, if there was ever a time to see a Brady auto or a Stroud or a 
Anthony Richardson. I'm also big on him. Not so much big on Richardson and or not so much big on Levis. And I know Bryce Young is a not the greatest team, but he should have at least a better year than last year. But I would like to see something. And here's a look at the Breakers Delight. If you're deciding which of the two to buy, looks like we might also have a rookie patch or looks like we also have a patch auto in here. Um, if you're deciding which two to buy, that product right there, the hobby box is gonna have the more cards. It's gonna be your more standard hobby box rip. If you're just a total degenerate like me, you just want the hits. This is the way to go because this is the Breakers Delight. It's all chromium cards, no paper cards, and three autographs in the center. So we're gonna kick off with Jason Seahorn on the Resurgent. Our autos are right there. So let's go. Let's go to the back. Autos are right there, right up front. Uh, we have Kurt Warner, 398 of 399 on the top scroll in pink. How about Tom Brady to 250, 112 of 250? Tom Brady, hoping to see him one more time in this box. Uh, Michael Vick to 99, 82 of 99. Daryl Woodson, 177 of 375. Bad Moon Rising, 150 of 150. And Jim McMahon on the Geometric. All right, final three cards are three autos. This is where it matters. Saw the first one. It was Dwayne Bow to 20 on the Resurgent Auto. Dalton Hilliard, 7 of 101. That is a very interesting numbering. Final card of the day, another patch auto. Of Ricky Williams on the Ignite to 99. Ricky. Uh, once again, worn by the player in the in the uh, witness by a top employee, but not game worn. I will say, you know, the big chase is going to be Tom Brady, Anthony Richardson, CJ Stroud, Bryce Young, Will Levis, they are not going to fall in every box. But taking a look at the current landscape of football cards where you have Prism, 2023 Prism, sitting at $1,700 a box. Optic with one autograph at almost $900 a box. Uh, we have like Gold Standard at $500 plus a box. And uh, Immaculate now pushing $1,300 a box. Phoenix, $600 a box. And most recently, Select it, $900 a box. I mean, a hobby of this one, composite hobby, for $400 a box, and breakers at $600. I mean, the value is definitely there if you can compare it to the other prices. Is everything in football a little bit too expensive? Yes, it's quite a bit expensive. But I think I'm going to go with these two products personally. I, I'm fairly confident, seeing as little as this as I have, I can confidently say that this is one of the greatest unlicensed sets ever. And this is night and day compared to Topps Chrome basketball that also released last week just a phenomenal job by, by tops all the cards look great no real complaints about the design elements i like the choices the cosmic chromes the finest in there i like the choices in hobby of the paper cards the galleries and uh the modern artists and the old school throwback designs i like those too it's very hard for me to find anything negative to say about this set other than the fact that maybe I would have liked to see more rookies or more active players in it. But in a couple of years, if this is one of Topps' licensed products, I think we're in for a real treat when all the rookies are going to be in this one and we'll have players like Mahomes, players like, you know, Aaron Rodgers, anybody who's still playing, Bijan, anybody who's still playing in the league. You know, when this set is fully licensed, this is going to be quite possibly one of the best football sets that we have moving forward. That is my thoughts. 400 bucks a box for hobby compared to 900 for select. I think this one is the real winner last week and it's definitely worth a rip. Definitely worth a rip both as a personal box. I know there's going to be retail megas and blasters as well and definitely worth hopping in some breaks. That is my time. Rip yourself some composite and I will catch you next time on down the road.